Hello everybody, welcome back to another episode of Man Take Shoes Out of Box, the episode where I take a pair of shoes out of a box and tell you what I think of them. Today we are talking about these, the Air Max 1 Royal Blue Vault Big Bubble Joints. But before we get to the undoubtedly exciting review, let me take you guys through another sneaky pickup that I made this week. These are the Nike Sabrina Ones in the Oregon Ducks colorway. If you don't already know, Sabrina Ionescu is one of the best WNBA players. She plays for the New York Liberty. She recently featured in the NBA All-Star Game where she went head to head with Steph Curry from Three Point Land and put up a really, really good fight. In fact, Curry was pretty lucky to squeak through in the end there. And she has, in my opinion, one of the best Nike signature sneakers out there, period. I genuinely think that this is one of the best looking signatures out there. Maybe these, the Anthony Edwards ones, and I'm gonna say the Devon Bookers, just as a little bit of a hot take. And this colorway takes inspiration from the Oregon Ducks, which is where she went to university. In terms of the box, the packaging, it's pretty sweet. You get the S for Sabrina on the top. You get Sabrina Ionescu's name on on the side you've got her signature on the other side it's a pretty sweet box opening up you get some custom sabrina paper and you also get a series of messages from sabrina on the inside of the lid the shoes themselves are really sweet they do give me a little bit of kobe energy a little bit of pg3 energy it's just a really simple silhouette that looks really good in terms of the technology i'm just gonna try and wing it here the majority of the upper has this sort of synthetic mesh material it feels like it it has a little bit of ripstop underneath as well. This is mixed together with a semi-transparent mesh around the mid panels that wrap around the back that have this flywire integrated technology underneath, giving the uppers this flexibility and this bounce to them, as well as this lightness and breathability that is key to performance on court. The technology on the midsole and the outsole is a combination of React technology and Zoom technology. You get this really effective traction pattern on the outside that feels awesome when you have these on foot. I'm not capping when I say these would be fantastic to ball in. The midsole is really squishy. The heel cup is quite firm and quite rigid. Features this sort of felt material on the back. And in terms of the Sabrina touches, you get the S logo on the tongue. You get the S logo on the insole. You also get the S on the outsole, as well as the I for Ionescu running down the spine of the heel. Now, in terms of the Oregon Ducks touches, you don't really get that much. But to be fair, you don't really need them because this colorway sort of says it all. You do get the quack saying on the front lateral portion of the sneaker. The lateral swoosh is embroidered and then on the rear medial side you sort of get this vertical swoosh facing up. On foot they feel really light but there's a lot of support particularly through the heel cup. I went my normal size UK 9.5 and they do fit true. I would say if you have a wide foot, best bet to go half size up with these as they do run a cheeky bit narrow. But after scuffing about my kitchen in these, making a fool of myself and alerting my dogs to some potential danger in the garden, I would say that these feel really good on foot and would be ideal for balling in. So congratulations to Sabrina for an awesome first sneaker. And now onto the Air Max Ones. This particular pair dropped on Tuesday for Air Max Day, which I don't need to tell you was a little bit of a flop. If you guys wanted to check out my video recapping the day, you can click on the video above. It was a pretty underwhelming day for releases, but this particular pair shock dropped and took, I want to say, close to an hour to fully sell out. But in the wake of this release, these have actually gone on to command a little bit of demand. I've seen a few people out there selling pairs of these for 30, 40, even 50 pounds over the retail so there is definitely a little bit of demand for this colorway but let's go through it first and foremost the box you've got the black Nike sportswear box with the distressed red coming through you have the transparent swoosh on the lid you also have a reference to the big bubble on the side which I think is a really cool touch definitely a decent box getting into the sneakers you've got the classic Air Max papers and then you have the kicks now I know for a lot of people this whole vault midsole is a love or hate type thing. Some of you guys out there are going to love these because of this feature and some of you guys are going to hate these because of this feature. The good news is is that if you don't like the vault midsole but you still really like the colorway you can find this shoe pretty much set in all sizes on the Nike sneakers app as well as most other sneaker retailers. Now the first thing that jumped out to me is just how big the big window is. I mean bro this is massive and if you don't know the story behind the big window I'll spare you the details but this was the way the Air Max was supposed to originally be 
back in 1986 but after they ran some tests with the shoe they found that the structure of the midsole couldn't hold up with such a big window so they reduced the size of it when they eventually went on to release the AMX one in 1987 and so this sneaker is basically a throwback to what might have been in terms of the materials you get this all blue sort of suede felt type material running around the entirety of the mudguard you've got this white mesh material on the toe box you also have this gray felt material similar to the blue material on the mid panels the blue swoosh slightly shortened and you have that same mesh on the toe box wrapping around the heel you got the nike air branding on the heel and then you have the 3.26 on the tongue which is the reference to air max day other cool features include the size on the inside of the ankle liner the vault liner behind the tongue as well as the vault accents on the lace tips or the aglets and you also get a nice custom insole with the blue and the vault on the instep all in all i really like them i think the shape is bang on points i like sneakers that stand out a little bit that are vibrant and so let's chuck them on foot and take a look at them I went true to size with these. I got me a US 10.5. I did find that they fit true to size. I'm quite happy with how they fit actually. They're reasonably light. In fact, they're quite comparable to the Sabrinas, maybe a little bit chunkier. Styling wise, I think they look really good on foot. I decided to rock some vault socks with them to help the midsole pop out a little bit more. But I think they have a couple of good things going for them. It's the classic silhouette and the classic royal colorway with this really bright contrasting vault hits that you just can't miss. Now these were kind of limited. I know for you guys over there in the USA these were a very difficult cop I got messages from people all around the world saying that these didn't even release where they were or these went really quickly and so because these were somewhat limited the resale prices on them are floating around for maybe like 40 50 over the retail price meaning it's not crazy and like I said if you can't stomach that resale price you can get yourself a perfectly suitable alternative in the OG pair that's set on the Nike sneakers app and there we go that is my review it's a cool shoe a welcome addition to the collection and the ever-growing Air Max 1 collection. I'm also a big fan of the Sabrinas as well. I think for the price point at 120 quid, these are great. And at 145 or so pounds for these, that is not too bad for an Air Max 1. Well, actually, it is quite bad for an Air Max 1, to be honest. But yeah, there we go. Thank you guys for taking the time to watch. Let me know what you thought of the review and these pickups down below in the comments. Always enjoy reading what you guys have to say. And I will see you guys tomorrow for my weekly sneaker news recap. Be sure to like the video before you guys bounce and I'll see you tomorrow. Take care for now and peace. Thank you.